Representatives, the latest polling from CNBC's All America survey showing that President Biden's approval rating on the economy has improved since July. However, it is still trailing low at 40 percent. Joining us right now on set right here is Frank Luntz. He's the pollster and political strategist. And we always love talking to you, trying to get a, a better sense of the way you think Americans are going to play this out come November, what it means for policy, business, and the economy. So where are we, really? What, what do you think happens in November at this rate? I want to relate this back exactly two years ago, because it was two years ago next week that you had me on this show, and I said that Trump on election night would be leading. But on the hours and days that followed, Biden would catch up, move ahead, and would eventually be elected president. I'm here to say to you now that there are enough election deniers out there candidates running that are going to lose and going to claim that they won and they won't accept the election results. I am scared to death and I'm doing this a week earlier so that you can replay this and replay this and replay this. We are going to have a problem in this country if Senate candidates, governor candidates, secretary of state candidates lose by two or three percent and claim the election is stolen. And I'm warning the markets now that I don't think we're going to have a clear result on election day 2022. Why do you say this? Because I've seen the interviews that have been done with these candidates. I'm watching all the debates. I have to do this in addition to the polling. And the American people do not trust the election counting. They do not trust the system right now. It's a greater degree of cynicism towards elections than we've ever had. And it's being prompted by elected officials who are telling them, don't believe, don't believe the numbers, don't believe the count is not true. And the way that elections are counted, you're going to get the people who vote on Election Day counted first. You'll get the absentee ballots counted third, counted last, and you'll have the early vote counted second. And it should have gone in order. But what it means is Republicans will look like they're winning early in the evening, and it'll even out. I still believe Republicans capture the House. I believe the Democrats, by a single seat, keep the Senate. But in the end, the vote will look overwhelmingly Republican at midnight, and it won't be as Republican when all the votes are counted. What's the solution? The solution is to change the counting system because it's literally, and it's not how you cast your votes. Donald Trump would say, oh, here's another 100,000 votes in Philadelphia dumped. He called it vote dumping. No, it's simply counting people who had voted a week or two weeks early, who had sent in their absentee ballots, and you have to count those at the same time. That you count. So don't do any precinct releases. That that is that is. It's definite. causing damage, and probably we should have done this a week ago. But this is serious, Joe. At, at the, the point, the, the, the pandemic, the, point, the pandemic the, did did cause yes. a lot of people to think, "Wow, there's all these things that are you know much more mail that came in because people weren't going in person because of COVID." Um, have we gotten back to more in-person voting, or it's going to be the same amount of? of uh, it's remote learning, remote work, remote voting. Yes, um, and the problem is if you count them separately, Democrats will vote remote. Republicans will vote in person. So right. it's a systemic problem. Frank, here's a messaging question, though. You spend a lot of time thinking about language, thinking about persuasion, what, you know, what works and what doesn't. This issue of election integrity, to the degree that uh, we want people to believe, <coughs> if you believe that they should believe, I would argue I think they should. Yes. Thus far, at least from my vantage point, it seems that the system is working. And I know people can say that there are elements of it that are, that are not perfect, but nonetheless, the system works. The question is, how do you uh, message and persuade people that that is the truth when there are lots of uh, candidates, oftentimes on the right, who have made it their business to suggest that it is not? Uh, Stacey Abrams is a Democrat. And she continued to deny her election result, but not so for weeks. I, I wouldn't want to say because I don't want to start anything, but uh, both Hillary Clinton and Joe Biden have to this day called the, the, 20, the, the election of Trump illegitimate and that it was stolen. So, it was, it's, so it started long before. But, 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 hold, hold on, hold on. Yeah. I'm not going to let you guys. It's entertaining. And I watch the show to watch you guys right. go back and forth. But it's this been, is serious. This but, is serious. Do not do this. The percentage of election corruption which Republicans claim about the Democrats, isn't accurate. The perception of election suppression, voter suppression, by the Democrats is inaccurate. Both sides need to cut it out. Right. And you're going to be the arbiter of this. Don't let them do this over the next two weeks, because our election system is too important. We need people to trust 
their votes, because if they don't, the entire democratic process comes apart. And this is my warning to you. If you don't fix this now, you are going to have a crisis.